Today I'm in the Highlands. Today I am going to surprise my little friend Isla. Isla is a young lady who suffers from EB. And today we're going to show you what a typical day for Isla is. Do you know why we're doing this? Yes. Why do you think we're doing this? So that people will understand what EB is about and what Debra does. Mm -hmm. And we'll open people's eyes to how cruel this horrible disease is. Most impressive young lady I've ever met in my life. And I'm not a young man. And I really mean that. <laughs> Can I ask a question? So you're at your worst when you're having your bandages changed? Yes. And you have to take, tell us what drugs, is it diamorphine? Uh, ketamine and fentanyl. They're pretty strong drugs. So just when you're having that done, so obviously you're... Do you scream? Stop. So how does the day start? I wake up, I go to the loo, even that's a struggle. Can you dress yourself? No. It's your esophagus, yes. so you have blisters on the inside track. Yeah. And I think people and I didn't realise that it's not just what you see, it's your esophagus and other parts of your body yeah. internally that get blisters inside your body. Yes. Do you get that? I do, I do get that. What they do is they stuff a balloon, a cosmetical balloon, down my throat and then pump it up while I'm under general anaesthetic and it puts it back to its normal width. Isla's now 14. Mm -hmm. From day one it's been super difficult. Yeah. Yep, it was a shock. Um, you didn't expect it. But it must have impacted on every aspect of your life, yeah. your relationship with your wife. For sure. You know, having a, a child born with recessive dystrophic EB, you know, it changes everything. Whilst you're watching someone who's going through something that is truly horrific, and she downplays it to protect us. Do you think to yourself, if you hadn't had EB, what else you be doing as yeah, a 14 year old? I do wonder that. I really do. But there's no point wondering when this is what life has dealt me, so. When do you do you think to yourself sometimes why me? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, it's 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 degenerative, it gets more difficult as it goes on. Mm -hmm. It's the constant grinding you down, because you know, when you were playing football, you wanted to win, but you knew the game was going to end at some point, yeah. no matter how tough it was going. But for Isla, the result's in the balance, and we don't know when the whistle's going to go. So you've still got, your fingers are still there? Yeah, my fingers are still there, they just encased in the skin. Oh, I can see, so that, that's your finger that's there. That's my finger moving. And you're pushing against... I'm pushing against So the, the skin's skin. just formed over your fingers? Yeah. You wouldn't wish anyone to have a kid with EB, and hopefully one day it's it's gone, and no one goes through what I was going through. But it, it teaches you to focus on what's... Real, in, what's real, important. What life is all about. Because she's so stoic, you don't want to be the one that... that crumbles, if you like. So how do you see the future? Is, is she going to get worse? Yeah. If by watching this video you're moved as much as I am, please find a way where you can help us. However small, however large, just help us find a way we can alleviate the pain and make the lives more bearable, these poor children. Please.